struggling to get your PCB manufactured? Well, without Gerber files, your design isn't going anywhere. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to generate Gerber files and KiCad step by step. Not only that, I'll show you how to view those Gerber files in the KiCad Gerber viewer and how to upload your files into Altium 365. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have production ready Gerber files that you can upload to any PCB manufacturer. Plus, you'll learn how to use Altium 365 to review your design files and Gerber files from anywhere, ensuring your design is error free before you send it off to fabrication. And by the way, this video is proudly sponsored by Altium. Let's dive in. Okay, to generate your Gerber files, have your PCB open, then go to File, Plot. It's different from Print. Hit Plot. You can also click this icon that's typically next to the print icon under the route menu. Next, with your plot window open, you'll have the option for the plot format of Gerber, leave it as it is, and your layers will be selected. Your default settings are generally fine. So let's go ahead and hit the plot button. Now, where did these get generated? This would be in a folder, your output directory, set your output directory. I've created my folders under manufacturing fabrication for the PCB and then Gerber. So when you hit plot and it generates those files, it will show you the list of steps that it took and what it generated. Next, you want to generate your drill files. So go to generate drill file. Go with Gerber X2 because it has more advanced information than just the Exelon format. If for some reason a company can't take the Gerber X2 format, then you can go with Exelon and then choose whatever options make sense. Just speak to your manufacturer. So you go ahead and generate the drill file. And it will generate that. As before, you want to generate in the output folder that is appropriate. If you need to have your drill file in its own folder, you select the appropriate folder or create it. Otherwise, usually I just drop it in the Gerber folder as well, because typically manufacturers want the drill file in the same folder as the Gerber files. So I hit generate drill file and it shows me the messages to show where it got generated. There's also a report file you can create. There's so much you can do, but that's how you generate your Gerber and drill files. Now we have to view them. So to do that, go and check out the KiCad Gerber viewer. So you click on here, it gets pulled up. Then you can view any Gerber files. So go to file and you want to open your Gerber plot files. What's cool is you don't need to zip them in a zip folder first, and you just go in here. So we have KiCad, Card PCB, my manufacturing folder, fabrication, Gerber. Select all your files, except for this job file. You don't need that. And click open. Now what I like to do is to bring in my drill file too. File open Exelon drill files. Just to make sure I'm gonna regenerate these this drill file, go to plot, drill files, let's go Exelon, fabrication Gerber in that folder, generate the drill file, refresh, here we go, okay, so they've been generated, pick both of these and click open. Now if I want to see the drill files on top of my design, I would select, I would click the name then it becomes visible on top. See whatever name I click on, that becomes the most visible. Okay, we got our not plated and plated through hole drill files. There's the silk screen, the view, the mask, edge cuts, and all of these. I wouldn't leave it there though. I may want to collaborate with the rest of my team on this. So let's view these in Altium 365. You can go to new, design files. You can add your KiCad files. 
but I'm going to go straight to the, my manufacturing files for review. So go to Gerber. Then for my fabrication file folder, I just created, see it's looking for a compressed zip folder, right? Here I have my drill files in here. What I'm going to do is first of all, delete this. This one's old. I'm going to right click, send to compressed zip folder. Then select this zip folder, call it Gerber, then upload. If we give it a moment and then double click on it, we can view the Gerber files as they get loaded in the Altium 365 interface. And here we go. You can choose top copper. It organizes your copper layers for you, solder mask, top overlay, bottom overlay, and you can make this visible. Or let's say you only want one layer visible. You can do that by clicking the only option. So what's the point here? The point is you can add comments. So I can add comments in a specific area. No test comment, assign a task to people on my team or to myself, draw, and I click on this draw icon, this pencil icon, and then draw it, change my colors and all that stuff. Okay, I change the thickness of this, I can also delete the comment or post. This allows for good collaboration, I can also measure within this interface. Look at that. Measuring along here. Placing more comments and tasks information that I can view in millimeters and mils, and I can re-download the files if I want to, or, just, or switch to full screen mode. There are a lot of options here in Altium 365 environment, which is completely free. Check out the link in the description below if you want access to it. So no matter what ECAT software tool you're using, you can, or Gerber files that you're using, you can just export them and import them to Altium 365, then share them with other people. They don't need to have the same software you're using or some online Gerber viewer. This is a free one right here. There's so much more you can do in Altium 365, but I will not make this entire thing a promo video. Okay, but that's how you view your Gerbers in KiCad. Now, beyond just Gerber files, if you want to become completely independent and confident as a printed circuit board designer, check the link in the description below. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share it with people who you know. But that is how you share your files, your Gerber files. Well, that's how you generate Gerber files in KiCad. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.